what we know, what we say, yeah. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to another episode of uh, 40 Years of WrestleMania. My name is Chris Best, and we are going to get right into it. We are going to start off right here at WrestleMania 10. Of course, I can't uh, show you the opening stuff because there's a lot of uh, copyrighted footage, but you know what? I'm going to entertain you guys with what they're talking about right now. Like right now they are showing the uh, finish to the WrestleMania eight match where we last left off with this game as Roddy Piper lost the intercontinental title to Bret Hart. Um, this would uh, showcase just how important the intercontinental title was at that time. We now are going to move on to WrestleMania 10 in New York city, Shawn Michaels, Razor Ramon ladder match. One of the greatest ladder matches of all time. The match that defined who Sean and Razor are. Now, this all started in 92. Shawn Michaels winning the Intercontinental title from Davy Boy would go on a bit of a dominant run with the title. Um, however, in 93, Shawn Michaels would be stripped of the title until he comes back at Survivor Series. Uh, well, not until... He comes back at Survivor Series 93, claims that he is still the Intercontinental Champion. This goes on for some months now. Uh, Sean comes back with Diesel. Um, Sean does everything he can to prove that he is the real Intercontinental Champion, while Razor, who uh, went into a battle royal with, uh, several, with a 20-man battle royal, Ended in a final two with Rick Martel. They had a match the following week to determine who the actual Intercontinental Champion was. Um, Ray, uh, Razor would go on to defeat Martel for that title. But, as I said, this would all culminate at WrestleMania 10, where they would have a ladder match to de determine who the real Intercontinental Champion was. The goal of this match was not just usually it's to grab one title, but in this case, because Sean was carrying an intercontinental belt, as was Razor, the goal was to grab both championships. Uh, a lot of fantastic moments that uh, that happened in this match that you will uh, hopefully see me play out here. <clears throat> but here we go, boys. It's almost it's just about that time. How is Razor going to do this with the menacing Diesel at ringside? Bell has rung and we are underway for action. So now the first goal is I got to take Shawn Michaels out. I've got to deal as much damage I want to to him. So I'm going to do everything in my power to just make sure Shawn stays on the ground. And just beat the snot out of him. Sean rolls, of course, the outside. And we got Diesel trying to distract me. Sean coming back inside the ring now. He's going to probably sneak attack me. Or, yeah, he's going to jump outside. And what's he going to do? He's going for a ladder. Now, we see that there's two ladders in the ring. But there are there was actually only one ladder in this match that they were that they used. Okay, let's try and get these reversals going here. Because it says I got a reverse here. There we go. Now 
Now I've got to build to my signature. My signature choke slam, not the uh, fall away slam. I'm going to throw up a little taunt to give myself a little bit of a buff. All right, get back up, Sean. Get in that ring. Yeah. And I'll duck that elbow. Oh, whoa, I almost... Uh, almost uh, took away my signature. And there it is, the choke slam. Oh no, he reversed it. Now I gotta rebuild it again. Damn. Sean raking my eyes across the ropes there. Sean, what are you looking to do, my friend? All right. <clears throat> Time to uh, build back up my signature here. Drop that elbow, drop that elbow again. Oh, come on, John. All right. Sean just taking it to me with that body slam right now. Sean looking to go up top. What's he looking for? The elbow? Any... Okay, so I'm gonna get rid of. Uh, gotta I forgot about that. I accidentally hit my iron jaw thing, and now I've got to rebuild my signature again. Gonna grab a chair. That should help. I'm just uh, beating the hell out of Michaels here. All right, get you in the... I'm going to throw you in the corner. Let's see what we can do with you here. Oh, 
Or a little uh, backbreaker off the top rope. Or side suplex, as they used to call it. Connect again with another elbow. Well, I mean, that's a chokeslam, but it's not the signature chokeslam we're looking for. So I'll throw it again and see what happens. Would you screw off, Diesel? Oh, I spun right into that one. <laughs> but at least it, that super kick, for whatever reason, lays Shawn Michaels down. No, I will not do instant recovery because I really need to get this uh, signature up. There we go. Oh, I laid him across the ladder. Whoops. All right, so we're back to the in-ring action. We're right now, Sean and uh, Sean just got uh, dumped Razor to the outside. I believe this is the part where we're going to see uh, Diesel when he gets ejected after clotheslining Razor. As we see right now on the screen, yes, Diesel is stalking him, and there's the clothesline. No DQ match, but still Diesel gets tossed out because the referee wants this to be a fair one-on-one -on -one bout. Diesel shouting, did you see something? Did you see something? And of course, right now, the referee throwing Diesel out of there. Despite Diesel's arguments, the official decided to kick Big Daddy Cool out of the ringside area. Sean had talked a lot about being the real champion, and now without a seven-foot backup, he was going to have to back those words up himself. Diesel now storming to the back right now. Of course, he's not happy about getting kicked out, but it's your fault, Diesel. It's your fault. So now Diesel going through the entranceway. The distraction had bought Ramon enough time to recover and hit re hit HBK with a fist. Uh, he's floored Michaels. Diesel's banned at the ringside, and now we're back to square one. Both these men in the ring. Right now, yeah, we're in the ring, but uh, here's what I've got to do. I'm going to throw uh, HBK outside the ring and damage him out there. Now I'm wondering, will I be able to damage him? How bad is the damage if I connect a razor's edge on him out here? Let's see. Oh, it's it's actually pretty good. Let's see if I can, I'll connect with another one. Make this a little bit quicker. Okay, that's completed. Sean is like dead now. All right, so let's uh, Irish whip your ass over. No, 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 no. Okay, well, reversal, but not quite what I wanted. Sean with the head take over. And of course, me. Tripping Michaels with that reversal. And we're going to... Got to do this. Attack him in the corner here. Now... Got to throw Sean to the outside of the ring. 
and he is going to reverse it and send me flying. Okay, we don't need to do a signature right now. So, oh, okay, Razor's going up top. It's not what I was hoping to do, Razor. Come on, we gotta throw this. We gotta throw them outside. There we go. Now, what do you want me to do? Okay, so I've got to hit him with the razor's edge. That just means uh, building up my finisher and my signature. Well, finisher is going to be built first based on what I'm seeing on my power bar there or whatever that you would call that. And Sean connects with another switch in music. What is Sean doing? What is Sean doing? He's stomping me in the corner and drilling his knee into my chest. Oh. Get up, Razor. Okay, now you've got your finisher. Get him with it. Get him with it. Please don't reverse. Please don't reverse. There you go. Now I've got to throw Sean this way. And I've got to do this. Which triggers the next uh, video, which is... Uh, we see Razor grabbing the ladder here. I believe this is the baseball slide spot. As we see Sean running off the ropes. Yeah, there it is. The baseball slide right into Razor's gut. Had Razor even considered that type of offense from Sean? I don't think he did. Maybe he did. Maybe he didn't. But Sean... Totally taking advantage at this point in time of the game. Razor now having a hard time breathing, trying to recollect himself while Sean brings a, the ladder into the ring. Sean rams him one more time into that gut, and we are back to the video game action here. As we see Razor laid out on the mat, Sean standing tall. Connecting that elbow drop. Another elbow drop. Come on, Sean. Come on, Razor. Get up. There we go. Okay. Pick him up. And we triggered the next spot, which has the ladder in the corner now. We've got Sean climbing the ladder, or climbing the turnbuckle first, then climbing the ladder. He's looking for that big splash. The, both men had given it their all at this point in time of the game. Sean was doing anything he can to make sure Razor did not climb, doesn't even climb the ladder. But as we see here, the beautiful shot here. Uh, it's the overhead uh, Wiley Coyote camera, as people have called it. 
Sean now uh, bringing the ladder to the middle of the ring. He, I believe he, yeah, he does try to uh, go for the titles at this point. Michaels thought he had it in hand at this point, but Razor, man, Razor just doesn't quit. That's just how he was. As he rings uh, Shawn Michaels' neck across the ropes. Both men are down and out. We are back to the video game action. Razor's about to get up to his feet here. Uh, now we got to just pummel Sean, doing whatever we can. Sean's got me in a sleeper now. Not, not going to be able to... Uh, well, you might be able to win the match if you put me to sleep. Anyways, trying so hard to get out of this. Got to really mash down on those buttons sometimes. There it is. Jawbreaker. All right. Shawn Michaels now. Irish whip. Let's see what we can do. Back body drop. Oh, I didn't realize I did something. All right. Whoa. Hey, Razor rolling to the outside. I hope he's not stunned. Get up, Razor. Oh, Sean just totally missed me. Okay. If I damage him out here, will that work? Nope. It's got to be in the ring. All right. Pick up the ladder razor because you got to hit him five times with it. Now I got to hit him with a power slam. That's going to trigger another video. As we see Sean setting up the pile driver and he connects it. This match was just pure back and forth, pure fun. Went a really long time, but you didn't you wouldn't even know that it actually went a long time because of the stuff that they did in this match. As right now on my screen, I've got Sean Michaels with the ladder. Um, what does he do with it here? I can't. Oh, right. He, uh, he, uh, places it in the corner alongside himself. He climbs the turnbuckle and then decides to ride the ladder down onto, onto Razor's, uh, chest. And down he goes and we are back to the video game, folks. Sean now running to the outside here and climbing back in. Not, uh, can't figure out what he wants to do, I, I suppose. Oh, Sean with a chair now. And now me with a chair. Or no, I throw the chair away and totally miss him. You want know, hit him with that choke slam one more time. He's stunned. I'm supposed to climb the ladder at this point and take the title. There's the tutorial. And of course, of course. Sean going up top. What's he looking to do here? 
I was too early on that one. Sean going up top here. I think he's looking for the elbow now. But he's not going to connect it. But I am going to connect with a razor's edge. All right, come on. Let's do it. There we go. One more time. One more time. And there it is, folks. Razor Ramon has won both the Intercontinental titles. As we see Razor now. Climbing, about to climb the ladder. And in one of the most memorable poses. Showcased both championship belts. And you can see uh, I've unlocked the WrestleMania 10 arena. Two different versions of Diesel, Shawn Michaels and Razor Ramon. But what do you say we move on to the next matchup here? It was one of WrestleMania's greatest matches, this ladder match here. But it did, it did inspire other ladder-type matches, such as the TLC match, the Money in the Bank match. But our next match is another legendary moment as we go to WrestleMania 13. Rosemont Horizon, Chicago, Illinois, Allstate Arena. I can't remember what the name of the arena was at that time. But on this night, there was definitely one of the most classic matches ever. A match where we saw a double turn, both heel and... Uh, heel to babyface, babyface to heel. As we see uh, Bret Hart getting set to take on Shawn Michaels. Now, at this point in the time in the WW or Shawn Michaels, Bret versus Stone Cold in a submission match. Um, Bret had become a little bit uh, complacent with the way WWE was doing things at the time. Stone Cold was on a very meteoric rise uh, throughout '96. Winning the King of the Ring. And of course, the Austin 316 speech. Austin 316 says, I just whipped your ass. Crowd went insane for him. All the while, Brett was absent after dropping the title to Shawn Michaels at WrestleMania 12 in the Iron Man match. Fans started turning on Brett and siding with Austin. It was very slow and uh, a slow burn to Austin's turn. The two would meet at Russell, or Survivor Series 96 when Brett uh, would return. Um, Brett, of course, taking the victory. This would also lead to a confrontation in the 1997 Royal Rumble match where uh, Austin dominated pretty much the whole match. He would uh, eliminate Bret Hart along the road to victory. However, during that match, Brett had thrown Austin out, but the referees didn't see it. So Austin was able to get back in there and throw Brett out. WWE officials decided that they would meet in a no disqualification submission match. The loser would be forced to submit, but, and there was a special referee that was assigned to this match. The one, the only UFC hall of famer, Ken Shamrock. But this was, I'm really can't wait to play this match right now. 
because this was definitely one for the ages. This was just straight up a pure six brawl between the two of them. Austin calls it one of the best matches he's had. I believe Brett would echo those sentiments as well. Just watching an interview with Austin here as he's talking about the match. Hmm. It was full of chills, thrills, and spills, as he said, and he's got to call a spade a spade. And there's that iconic shot with Austin uh, bleeding down the face as he screams out in agony from the sharpshooter. And now there are no disqualifications, so we can do whatever the heck we want. So here we go, boys. It's match time. I don't even know which one I... Oh, I'm Brett. So now we got to take Austin to the outside and brawl with him. Just got to damage him up. Uh, hit him with a light comp. Oh, no, he's going to reverse that. All right, come on. Get that light combo going. All right, so let's bring Austin back inside the ring. And uh, Irish whip to the buckle because the next spot is uh, uh, the ne uh, neck breaker off the top rope. All right, focus. Uh, okay, so I've got to do some attacks on Austin's legs. So I'll hit him with a Boston Crab. Come on, Brett, get up. As Brett just totally glitched through Austin's legs. And Austin connecting with that wind-up punch. Uh, Brett connecting with uh, or, uh, Austin connecting with a pile driver. I'm trying to get back the advantage here because, uh, well, I need to beat up Austin's legs. All right, come on. Irish whip, and he catches me with the loot that's press. You know what? Instant recovery. Oh, he got me with the stunner. Man, he's just really okay. There we go. Finally. Or maybe not. Austin 
Austin stomping a mud hole in me. Jesus, Austin. Okay, Austin, where are you going? Austin, going to the outside to grab a folded chair when there's already a folded chair in the ring, Austin. All right. Got to beat you up, Austin. Get up, Brett. Jesus. Jesus. I thought I reversed that. Austin, come on. All right, I got to be a little bit, uh, there we go. Going to connect him with the sharpshooter on the outside. I'm pretty sure, pretty sure I can damage his legs by doing this. Okay, I'm just going to let him go here. I wonder if, um, if I grab a chair, can I beat his legs up with that? Doesn't look like it. All right. Austin hitting me with that Irish whip. And let's see. Oh, oh up I go. I was too early on that one. You know what? Get up. Come on. Okay, there we go. At least I reversed that. All right, start damaging them legs. Do what you can. Um, not quite what I wanted to do. Come on. Getting a little frustrated, but let's see. I'm going to top it out and see what I can do. Oh, Jesus. I didn't think Austin could throw a chair that far. All right, back to pummeling you. 
catch you with that gut wrench and uh continue working that leg finally all right austin get in the ring here get it back in come on you know you want to Wake up, Austin. There we go. Connect with that. Oh, come on. Austin is uh he's a little bit tough here. At least he gave me a chance to get up while he goes and grabs the chair again. Belly to belly, up and over. Let's okay. Now we got to hit him uh, with a submission. All right, so we are going into our first cutscene of the match. As we see Brett just pummeling away on Austin. He's got Austin down on the ground. He's really working that leg. He drags Austin over to the corner and goes for that corner figure four leg lock of his. Walks Austin into it, ties him up. Well, Ken Shamrock checking, uh, checking to see if Austin wishes to submit. Now the question remains is just how much, how much damage has Brett done to Austin's knee after that figure four? But Brett just, uh, Brett keeping on Austin here and tossing him back in the ring as we return to the action that I can play, the video game action. All right, so what is next for me to do as Brett? All right, so just uh, pummel him. Hit him with that leg drop. One of the best leg drops, I think, in the business. Drive that elbow into him. Let's drive another elbow into Brett or uh, into Austin. Let's throw him into the ropes. Connect with that knee. Okay, finish up that. Apparently, I reversed him. One, two, three. Oh, Austin caught me. I got to do a heavy combo thing. Oh, he caught me with the stunner. Can't pin me, Austin. Oh, shit. And of course, he can tap me out, though. You know what? We're just going to play through. Didn't get anything unlocked, so we're just going to restart this moment.
All right. So yeah, we got to redo this. This is totally fine, though. It is what it is. Lost that match. But you know what? We're going to skip right into the match again. Already seen most of the videos. Oh, come on. Okay, so we got to throw Austin to the outside and brawl with him out there. Let's go. All right, so we're going to ring him across the thing here. Yeah, just uh, throw him on top of that again, damage him. I uh, got to do a light combo while we're outside the ring as well. I don't know what Austin was attempting there, but uh, I got out of it. Got to attack Austin's leg here. All stuff I've already I've done before. Just keep repeating until I get him down to orange. We have to stay on the outside of the ring, then that's what we're going to do. Okay, yeah, that doesn't. All right, Austin, throwing me back inside the ring. But up I stand. Connect with that belly to belly. I don't know what I was trying to do. Wrenching on Austin's arm and back to work on his leg. Continuing the work. Let's see if there we go. Got him to orange faster than I did previously. No, no, Austin, you don't get to rest in the corner. Ah. Can't, couldn't tell which one he was going for. All 
All right, Austin, get your ass back in the ring. Come on. You don't need to grab a chair. There's a chair right beside you. But I'll, I guess I'll, yeah, catapult you right into the ropes. Oops, it's a little late on that. All right, hit him with a light attack. That's going to trigger this moment again. So we got to go back once again. Brett, we see Brett working on the legs of Austin. But we're going to skip through that so we can get to the next part, which is where everything fell apart for me. Come on. Come on, Chris. You can do this. Come on. You can shake your shake it off, shake it off. Come on. Get up, boss. Or uh, get up, Brett. Jesus Christ, Austin. He's just really hammering me right now. Okay, we're going to use the instant recovery to get up. And take advantage of uh, Austin taunting so we can take advantage back in this match. All right. Try to come. Once again, taking it to me outside here. Austin. 
Austin once again going for that chair, going for another chair and throwing it at me, but I think I reversed it. I don't know. Jesus Christ, come on. Austin going on top. Yeah, roll the outside, roll the outside. You need to catch yourself, Brett. Finally got that heavy combo on him. Take the fight to ringside east. I don't know which way is ringside east. Oh, shit. Come on. Fight out of it, Brett. Fight out of it. There we go. Okay, so I found the right ringside area, and we're triggering the next moment in the match, which is them brawling on the outside. The announcer or the announcer, one of the timekeeper guys gets taken down. The brawl, I believe, goes to the crowd at this point. Unless they totally skipped over that part because uh, this match did go out into the audience. But as you can see, or as I can see, Austin was completely busted open and bleeding very profusely here. I believe he got it when he smashed his head off the uh, can or the uh, barricade. At this point, Austin was completely taken down. Brett was just uh, having his way with Austin. Brett rolls Austin back into the ring here. We're back to the game action. As we see Austin crawling away from Brett, Brett stalking Austin. Right now, I'm supposed to be attacking Austin's head, so that's what I'm doing. Now I'm supposed to go and find one of the many chairs Austin pulled out. 
hit him with a chair five times. Three, four, oh, come on. Get up. Four, and no, no, no. He's really fighting off that uh, that fifth chance for me to hit him with the chair, but there we go. Get back in the ring, Austin. It's time to finish this damn thing. Don't tell me I gotta. Yeah, I'm gonna do it. I'm gonna bring you in the ring. Sharpshooter time. Or no, you're gonna reverse it. Is it sharpshooter time now? Yes, it is. All right. And somehow, oh, he probably, uh, he probably had resilience. No, 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 no. You are not tapping me out. You are not doing it. I refuse. Damn it. Oh, I got out. I got out. I'm going to hit him with a pile driver. This is intense, boys. It's just to lock him in. There we go. Brett taps out Austin. As we see Brett celebrating. Jesus, that was intense, that fight. <clears throat> but I missed uh, two. Okay, I'll just uh, I'll get those uh, later. Let's just move on to the next match. So despite being victorious, Bret Hart's post-match attack on Steve Austin only served to galvanize the fans into six into fully supporting Stone Cold Steve Austin. Hmm. But Steve Austin fighting to survive that sharpshooter. One of the most iconic things here. Austin, if we're looking at Austin getting taken out here. When uh, Rikishi attacked him. But now we're looking at uh, the 2001 Royal Rumble when Austin made his return entering at number 27 and winning the thing. But before he could do that, Hunter had attacked him, Triple H. Austin would still go on to win the thing by eliminating Kane in the final two and thus challenging The Rock for the WWE Championship. For the second time at WrestleMania, mind you, the first one being at WrestleMania 15, we are heading to WrestleMania 17 for this one. Austin was successful to in taking the title from uh, 
The Rock at that point or at WrestleMania 15. Will he be successful at WrestleMania 17? We'll have to find out. But first, he does have a match with uh, Triple H. Best two out of three falls. Title match. Uh, no, it was just a normal best two out of three falls. Austin did lose that match. But heading into WrestleMania, Austin would speak openly about how he didn't want the title, but he needed it. Austin did everything he could in 68,000 fans at the Houston Astrodome, WrestleMania X7. But the people's champ the rock doing anything he did anything he could to try and retain that title but if anything was for sure that the rock would do one thing and one thing only just bring it now we got austin on my screen talking about how uh, how he feels about the rock And The Rock and Austin in 2001, definitely the two hottest acts in wrestling business. So now let's go. WrestleMania 17, 2001, Limp Biscuit, my way. Every time I hear this, I every time I uh, see this uh, this match, I think of that song. But let's get it going. Austin or The Rock holding up the title here. But before the bell could even ring, Austin started just hammering and wailing away on The Rock. The Rock had a brief moment where he unloaded some of his trademark punches, but ran right into a Luthez press by Austin. Match got underway at this point. And now I think we can go. Take the rock out of the ring and open up a cannibal pass. Oh, I already finished that part. Okay. So now, uh, light combos. Okay. So, um, send the rock. We're going to send the rock back into here. Not exactly the way I wanted to do it. Because now we have to smash his. We got to beat his, beat on his head, and uh, we just do this. Beat his head off the uh, apron, or I mean the uh, barricade. All right. Come on, Oz, or Rocky, get back in the ring. Let's do it. Oh yeah, there's no no DQs, right?
Austin just uh Rocky just pummeling me right now in the corner. All right, come on. Let's get it on the top turnbuckle for a superplex. Fuck off, Rock. Let me do, uh, let me superplex you. All right, go for a heavy combo. Okay, now we got to go ringside in front of the announce table. And I got to hit him with a pile driver out there. Well, suplex will do for now, but uh, not exactly what I wanted to do. All right, get up. Get up, Rocky. Get over here. Caught me with that DDT. All right, let's uh, send your, let's go back outside. There we go. Triggered it. Going back to Austin. Uh, Austin. Austin's head getting slammed into the uh, announce table, onto the bell, or the timekeeper's table. Referee has just been taken out by the Rock. Hmm. <clears throat> But Austin clocks the rock with the ring bell. Mm. Austin continuing to uh, be a little bit more savage than he uh, usually was at this point, throwing uh, Mark Eaton at the time, the timekeeper at the time. Rocky is still down, still uh, a little bit shook up. But Austin continuing to lay a pun lay the punishment on the rock, lay the smackdown on the rock. Austin doing everything and anything he can to make damn sure that he keeps the title or he wins the title. On this night, Rock was busted open during this. And the announce table just totally collapsed.
Austin just uh, pummeling and brawling with the rock everywhere he go everywhere on the outside of the ring. Now they're back on the inside. Austin is uh what's he doing here? Oh, just continuing to hammer her away on the rock, doing whatever he can to make sure he takes the title. Just a brutal beatdown he's doing right now. Just hammering away with all them rights. Much to the objection of the referee. Even though this is a no disqualification match and the referee can't do anything about what Austin is doing. trying to bring Austin's uh, Rock's head off of uh, an exposed ring post, but The Rock is uh, bouncing back here, trying to do what he can to keep the championship. Austin caught him with that swinging neck breaker, goes for a two count, or goes for the pin, gets a two count off that pin. Rock is definitely busted open at this point. So at this point, Stone Cold hadn't been the WWF champion for a year and a half, so he was just... Very, 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 very hungry for that title. And it's just Austin was doing anything and everything he could to try and make sure that he takes that title off the rock. As uh, Austin continually hammering and stomping a mud hole in the rock's chest. Austin doing everything and anything to, uh, the rock rock and uh, rock is having some trouble mounting a comeback here at this point the raw austin getting very frustrated at the referee this proves to be quite the distraction as the rock catches uh austin with a clothesline out of the corner And another clothesline. Now the Rock taking firm advantage of this match as he looked like he was going for a Rock bottom, but Austin connects with a knee. Now they start trading blows in the ring, or the Rock actually, should should I say, just hammering away. I thought they were going to trade blows. Austin's head getting rammed into... The turnbuckle, the exposed turnbuckle that I talked about earlier. Rocky now going outside <clears throat> as he grabs the ring bell. And he's looking to hit the rock with it. Now it was Rock trying to do whatever he could to Austin, make sure Austin gets that punishment he deserves. Or at least he felt he deserved. As finally, we are back to the video game action. Austin is down on the mat. Rocky is still standing up. Rock catching with a... Catching him with a power slam of some sort. Rocky just stop it on me right now. There we go. All right, got one taunt in. Now we gotta 
pummel loss or pummel uh, Rocky on the outside here. You know what? I think I'm going to do this. Connect with a stunner. Then I'm going to do this. Well, not quite that. Um, trying to do the grab combo thing. Um, that's uh, what's next on the objective list here. But Austin, or I mean, Rock uh, keeps uh, reversing it. I keep saying Austin because I'm still used to the fact that I had to fight Austin in the previous one. Does this count? Yeah. Connected him with a stunner. And throw you into the, you know, okay, we'll roll into the ring. Yeah, I caught him with the uh, Luthez, but uh, yeah, that was a bad glitch. Connect with another stunner, then we'll do that, and then we'll come, and then it'll, uh, yeah. Now we're back to the real life action here. Austin hammering away on the rock. Rock catches Austin with a stunner of a uh, a stunner of his own. Both men at this point were bloodied and busted open. Austin, of course, would kick out of his own Stone Cold Stunner. But at this point in the match, both men were very much spent. And while the two men just laid out on the mat trying to collect who they were, one... Vince McMahon would make his way to the ring. Now, everybody in the audience was like, why is Vince coming out? What, what's, what's he doing here? <clears throat> Vince has taken a very long time to get to that ring. Vince also had a match earlier that night against Shane McMahon in what was a very entertaining uh, street fight that he had lost. So right now, he's actually, he's not coming out in a suit. He's coming out in the gear that he uh, wrestled in earlier that night. But right now, Austin and Rock are both on the, both back on their feet. Austin just hit the Rock with a spine buster. He's trying to, he goes for another pin one, two, two count only on that one. But now here we go, uh, Irish whip, reversal from the rock, and another spine buster, this time from the rock, and now he looks like he's setting up for the people's elbow.
And yeah, he is. He's going for that people's elbow. Off comes the elbow pad. Throws it out to the, well, to the aisle, because that's the way he's facing. Over the rock, and he delivered, or over Austin, and he delivers. He goes for the cover. Many people thought that this would be it, but Vince comes in the ring, pulls the rock off of Austin. That's right, guys. Vince McMahon helped out Stone Cold. And, of course, the rock bewildered as to what just happened. And he's just, he's, he's staring a hole right through Vince. He's like, you son of a bitch. Austin, or I mean, Rock now chasing uh, McMahon around the ringside area. Austin, meanwhile, has gotten to his feet. Caught him. He catches Rock, hits a rock bottom here. As we are back to the video game action here, Rock is down. Austin's on his feet. It is now up to Austin to just beat up, uh, beat up on the rock right now. McMahon now wandering around ringside there. Rock catching me with that, uh, catching me with a neck breaker there. And now trying to get me with that belly to belly. He's okay. Reversal. Thank God. Okay. Now I've got a stunner and I've got to hit him with that. Now I've got to go find a chair. And I got to beat him over. I got to beat him up five times with that. Okay, like, come on. Oh, and he DDTs me on that chair. All right. So I got to hit him two more times. There's one, two. Get up. No, you weren't supposed to reverse it, Rock. That's not how the match ended. Hey, 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 what do you think you're doing? Come on, get up. There we go. And it looks like we are getting the finish here. Austin just completely hammers. Oh, okay. Completely hammering the rock. Just laying it in with those chairs as Vince McMahon barks his orders to Austin to continue doing what he's doing.
Austin just wins won the match. Here you see the referee order uh, awarding the championship. But now we got the stare down between Vince and it's like is uh, we were thinking is Austin going to stun him? But no. Vince would shake hands with him. And through this, we've unlocked WrestleMania X7, Stone Cold Steve Austin, and The Rock. What do you say we move on to the next match here? Mm. Now that Austin has won the title in one of the most shocking endings in WrestleMania history, bar none. Stone Cold joins forces with Vince McMahon. Um, a lot of people consider it to be the end of the Attitude Era, but there are still a lot of lingering things. Austin forming the team with uh, Triple H, WCW, and ECW uh, coming in and invading WWE during that time. There was just so much, so much talent that we had to usher in the Ruthless Aggression Era. And at WrestleMania 20, we would return to New York City for one of the great, one of my favorite championship matches. Kurt Angle versus Eddie Guerrero. This match was just so much fun. And their second match at SummerSlam 04 was just as good too. And I had the pleasure of being there live. I know I've said that hundreds of times on the, on the Raw Patrol. Um, but Angle, uh, having lost the title at WrestleMania 19 to Brock Lesnar, he was looking to defeat Eddie Guerrero and take the title off of him, a title that Eddie Guerrero took off of Brock Lesnar the month before. Hmm. <clears throat> But when he, when Eddie, oh, when Eddie won that title, man, that was just so much emotion. He won a 15 man, man, mini Royal Rumble match to get that title match. I remember thinking actually at that time that uh, there was no way Eddie was going to win the championship. But then I heard Brock was on his way out. So I'm like, okay. And it was, it was clearly set that at WrestleMania 20, Brock was going to be taking on Goldberg. So I'm like, okay, maybe Eddie does win the title. But how was the question? But Eddie versus Angle, man, this was just so good. Such a good match. Oh, just, oh, I can't wait to play it. I cannot wait to play it, but right now, we're looking at a bit. I'm looking at a video package uh, showcasing a lot of the things that uh, Eddie and Angle did to each other in the build up to this match. The tone was set. This was not about competition or athletic prowess. This was about a former champion desperate to reclaim the throne and a new champion who wasn't going to let anyone take his dreams away from, from him. And that's exactly what the story was going into this match. Got to find a way for Eddie Guerrero to retain the championship over Kurt Angle. All right, bell rings. Charles Robinson, the referee. And right away, right into this stuff. Kurt Angle looked to prove that uh, he was uh, just wanting to win the championship here. But Eddie knew he had the technical skills to hang and bang with Kurt Angle. That, that, that much was a given. All right, back to the video game action. As we saw, it was just a chain wrestling video that we saw. Oh, Kurt. I mean, uh, yeah, Kurt.
Yeah, there's one attack. There we go. Get out of. I had to reverse three times. Now I got to do some damage to uh, one Mr. Angle. All right. So one of these. Uh, I send him into the buckle, catch him with the clothesline. So Irish whip him now. And one more time, because I got to do it three times. Built the world backbreaker. Catch him with a wrist lock arm drag all right so i gotta hit my signature which is the three amigos can't wait to do it but kurt being the fucking the wrestling machine he is just taking it out on me. Oh, I already had the signature. Didn't need to throw that drop kick, but well, I needed to, but and right now it's back to the real life action. Kurt Angle or uh, Angle or Eddie attempted the three amigos, but Angle reversed it, turned it into a German suplex, tried to go for the triple German suplex. Eddie backs out, but Eddie gets back suplexed onto the apron. This is just, oh, this match, man. Kurt trying to go for that German suplex off the apron. I don't think he's ever been successful at hitting that or was successful at hitting it. But Eddie trying to pull everything back, trying to pull him back in the ring, knocking Angle off the apron, sending uh, Angle down the, uh, down the aisle way. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Mm. And now what's uh what does Eddie do here? I can't remember. Well, oh, Eddie looking to go up top and dive right into the barricade. Uh, come on. WrestleMania 20, where it all begins again. And now looking for that uh, snapmare, but nope. Eddie gets planted on the top rope here. And uh, Kurt just dropping away, punching away. Before he uh, goes up, he attempts a belly to belly here, but Eddie Guerrero headbutts him, knocking him back down to the mat. And uh, Eddie Guerrero hit, going for that frog splash, but missing. As we're back to the video game action with uh, both Eddie and Angle down on the mat here.
Eddie or Angle just having his way with my leg here with Eddie's leg. Come on. Come on, Eddie. Get up. Get up off your feet. I'm going to go for the uh, frog splash here. All right, so now we got to go up behind him and catch him with this Hurricane Rana. There we go. Oh. So usually when I taunt, when I do a taunt, I, I throw the opponent out of the ring. Okay, so I've got to go for another three amigos. Attempt uh, the three amigos. Eddie wasn't too successful at landing it last time. Eddie uh, or Angle reversing that. Uh, I'm not exactly sure what I was going for. All right, let's see. Can I connect the three amigos this time? All right, another heavy attack, and that's going to trigger the next cutscene. <clears throat> As uh, Angle has taken Eddie down to the mat, and now the straps come down, usually when that happens, that means Angle's looking to finish you off. But now we got... Uh, Kurt has locked the ankle lock onto one Eddie Guerrero, and Eddie reversed it, tried to get a roll-up on there, but got a two-count out of it. And Kurt connects with the German suplex. We're back to video game action. Eddie is down. Angle is up. All right, so get in the ring there, uh, Angle. Got to hit the frog splash again. And now a DDT. And I got to build up to uh, the three amigos again. <coughs> Excuse me. I go with that dragon screw. It's okay, I'll drop kick, drop kick you in the back while you're uh, taunting.
Ah. Again with the ankle lock. Oh, I was in the ropes, thank God. I just exploded off the ground out that one. All right, trying to get back that uh, signature. The uh, three amigos, let's lock it in. Here we go. Oh, I can't, he's got to be laid down for this one. Couldn't understand what it was saying. Kurt. All right, we're back to the uh, live action stuff. As I was trying to do a double stomp onto Eddie's head, but then Kurt locks in the ankle lock for the second time. But the exhaustion between the two men at this point was very obvious. These guys had really worked each other. That's why I totally love this match. Um, we see Eddie here. He looks like he's about to tap, but Eddie's just... Eddie rolls through it, sends angle out through the middle rope. But then uh, Eddie looks like he's suffering an, an ankle injury here. But was he really? Eddie quickly unlacing his boots to uh, relieve the uh, the pressure off of what would have been a damaged angle, uh, ankle. As we see Eddie just uh, continuing to suffer ankle or angle angle is making his way into the ring. Eddie sees he, Eddie seems to think he's in trouble. However, Eddie with that lie, cheat and steal mantra, man, he's got that angle lock locked on, but he kicks out Eddie or uh, angle takes a uh, angles boot or uh, Eddie's boot and is confused by it. Sorry, I'm stumbling in my words, but Eddie just, successfully retained the championship and the bell rang and eddie won the title and i will showcase to you everything i've unlocked for this moment i've unlocked kurt angle eddie guerrero and the wrestlemania 20 arena but i'm noticing folks that we are coming down uh, on the two hour time that i've allotted myself to do this don't have time for the next match, but I will showcase to you what to expect in the next episode. That's right. WrestleMania 21, Shawn Michaels, Kurt Angle. Ladies and gentlemen, my name is Chris Best. I'm going to hand out my socials. You can look for me at uh, CBRS Entertainment, uh, YouTube.com. Twitch.tv, CBRS underscore entertainment, threads.net, that's CBS Films 83. Facebook.com, Chris.best83, TikTok.com, CBRS.entertainment. You can look for me to, uh, Monday night, 8 p.m. Eastern. I almost said tomorrow because I'm taping this on a Tuesday or a Sunday. Jesus Christ, my brain does not want to work today. Uh, but you can look for me 8 p.m. Eastern, Monday nights. As we do the Raw Patrol, 
You can look for me Tuesdays, 8.05 p.m. Eastern, as I do Turnbuckle Talk. And you know what? Let me just find it here. If you just give me one second here. Where is it? Where is it? Where is it? Where is it? If you want to find me at those shows, you can look for me at youtube.com at turnbuckle underscore studios. Meanwhile, on my CBRS entertainment channel, you can look for the next episode of uh, 40 years of WrestleMania within a couple of days, Wednesday at noon, I'm thinking of uh, doing this um, or sending out the next episode. You can also look for me Saturday night, Saturday doing Saturday night gaming where I continue doing the uncharted series. And on that note, ladies and gentlemen, thank you all. Um, yeah, thank you all for coming out. Have yourself a wonderful day. We say it.